I think most importantly, it's really simple. There's nothing crazy going on there. It's just, hey! Ooh. But really, there's not too much going on there. I mean, it's as simple as just a couple of connection points on a couple of sliders, and it all just bounces on that air shock. That's why you need a suspension here. I hear it in England. Well, suspension sir seems to be the talk of the town these days in the uh, electric unicycle world, doesn't it? All right, what's going on guys? It's your man George and today we're going to be talking suspension systems, baby. Now you always know I just got my EX20S, so that's basically what this video is going to be focused on, but I'm sure a lot of this is going to carry over to the Master as well. So if you ride a Master or an EX20S, this video is for you. Now people who have been following along with my shorts and maybe on the electric unicycle forum, you guys know I've been having a lot of trouble with my suspension so far on the EX20S. Not with the machine itself, the suspension on the machine is fantastic. Take a look at this. It's absolutely great, I love it. My problem has been with these bad boys right here. This is the actual shock that makes the suspension systems work. It's the same thing that is, I, I'm pretty sure it's literally the same shock that they're using in the master. I would be very surprised if they used a different shock. But let's start from the beginning. When I received my EX20S, it came with this shock, the Bagode brand <laughs> air spring. And it didn't feel terrible, honestly, but I only got to try it for about 20 minutes before it started leaking air. So immediately I had a major issue which made my suspension system almost useless because without an air shock, there's no suspension. But so I hopped on Amazon and I ordered overnight delivery for a DNM 36RC shock. I'll post a little picture of it right here so you can see which one I got. I believe it's the exact same shock that came with the S18. That shock felt great, it worked pretty well, but the problem with that shock is it could only hold a maximum of 250 PSI pressure, which just wasn't enough for the weight of this machine and myself. It was just, it was too weak, it didn't have enough, uh, didn't have enough pressure behind it. So what ended up happening was I decided to, well, I tried to put more air in it than it was rated for. I pumped it up to 285 pounds and that also leaked the air out of it. So two for two, two shocks, two leaking shocks. No problem, I said. I said to myself, I'll go online this time. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a spring shot. A spring, because a spring doesn't need air and it can't leak, right? Well, that came with its own problems. Oh. So yeah, I tried a spring shock in the back of the EX20S. I ordered a JFOY, I don't know, whatever I got. I'll post a picture of it here so you can see which one I got. But uh, it was actually too big, it wouldn't fit. It, uh, not only was the can way larger than it looked in the picture. Obviously the picture is of like the 275 millimeter shock or something. But uh, it was also just too wide. I literally couldn't get it into the suspension area. So three shocks, three non-working shocks for my EX20S. So it's been a rough couple weeks trying to get this thing up and running so I can actually do a proper review for you guys. But the other day, I finally got a shock in that seems to work. I ordered the DNM 38RC. I will post a link in the description below 
the 38RC can hold up to 275 pounds of pressure. But it actually seems to not need as much pressure as the 36 did. So 250 pounds in the 38 seems to be perfect for me and my body size. Now I ordered the 190 millimeter shock. Um, that's the correct size is the 190. You can fit a 200 into these uh, EX20s. I'm sure you could do the same for the Master. Like I said, I'd be very surprised if the Master was using a different shock. Um, but so you're looking for a 190 millimeter shocks if you're looking for different models. Obviously the best um, model you can get is probably gonna be a Fox Float. Okay, but those run $450, which I just didn't have to spend on a shock right now. So, amongst the budget options that I was able to go through, the 38 RC by DNM seems to be one that really works great. Now, Pagode is aware of the issues that they've been having with this stock shock of theirs. I'm not the only one who's had issues with this leaking, right? And what happened, at least with mine, is right here on the rebound adjustment nozzle is where it was leaking. Um, so I was actually able to fix this for a short period of time, uh, fix this, because it was locked on the maximum uh, rebound, or minimum rebound, I should say. So it basically just stays deflated for a long period of time once you've used the shock at all. Um, but it did hold air once I kind of did some plumber's goop up here in the rebound nozzle. But like I said, Bagode does know of the problem. They are actually switching to a new shock apparently. They have told me that they're gonna send me one of the new shocks. It should be here in a couple of weeks. I don't know exactly when. When it does get here, we'll make a video about it. But for now, I will be rocking this 38RC DNM shock which seems to be working just great for me. What do you say we go test it out? smooth it feels really good I mean going over the small bumps you don't even notice them it's it's very fast I have the rebound pretty much all the way open um, it eats up big bumps it, it does well off-road it does even better on the road honestly it's really really working great and I think that says a lot about the design of the EX20S entire shock system. I mean, the suspension on this is just so fluid. Um, between the sliders on the side, I've heard a lot of people worried about the endurance of those sliders. And I gotta tell you, I rode my wheel without a suspension, without a coil, or the coil was installed, but with no air pressure in the coil for about 10 miles on some rough road. And I honestly was a little worried I might have done some damage because I was banging it pretty hard. But uh, perfectly fine. You know, now that I've got the new coil in there, can't even tell that I rode it without it. You know, I think that, and I think that really speaks to the endurance of the system 
as a whole. You know, the slider bars themselves are huge on this thing. The back swing arms, the, the, the swing points connecting to the shock itself, to the, the air coil, they're very thick, very strong. And I think most importantly, it's really simple. There's nothing crazy going on there. It's just, hey! Whoa. But really, there's not too much going on there. I mean, it's as simple as just a couple of connection points on a couple of sliders, and it all just bounces on that air shock. Yeah, all in all, I'm extremely satisfied with the suspension on this EX20. I think it performs wonderfully. It's really smooth, really comfortable. I'm a huge fan. All right, that's probably enough rambling on about the EX20S suspension system for one day. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, until next time, guys, ride safe.